Hey, back here again. Paul with St. Fiocra's Farm and Farmhouse Tees out working in the yard again. We literally have spring upon us. And it's another beautiful day out here. So I'm working on one of the problems that I'm always facing in my yard, and that's water. I have heavy clay soil that holds a lot of water, and I have like little streams of water running down my little hillside here, and I'm always trying to control the water. So one of my plans, one of my problems, is right here on the edge of my garden, I have like a swamp that forms every spring, and it keeps this side of the garden soggy for a good portion of the springtime. So I'm trying to drain this off and make it a little more usable, make the garden a little more usable so it dries out quicker. And if you look here, like this is the top surface of the water. Um, there's just all down here. If you come down here and look, I mean there's gross swampy stuff growing here. Get down the hill a little bit further and we literally have a stream forming and it carries on down. I've already started digging down here. You can see down there I've got water, a rivulet of water running down the side and it's been doing this all winter long. It's just draining off this, this hillside and I can tell you just with the, the trench I put in here earlier in the winter, it's kept this side of the garden a lot drier already. Just so, just having this water running off all the time. So I'm gonna continue excavating the dirt out of the edge of the garden here and continue forming this trench all the way up. And then we're gonna work on installing a drain in here so we can cover it over and it doesn't look like a big eyesore. So that's what we're working on today. Got myself a drink, a little bit of a break, some tools, going to do some pruning. All right, I'm gonna start uh, pruning some pass caps. I got quite a few bushes here. Some of them are getting big and bushy. I need to thin them out and cut some stuff back, so I'll get started. I'm not an expert pruner by any stretch, but I just follow a few rules of thumb. Number one, if I don't like the branch, I cut it off. Like if it's hanging too low or it's crossed over another branch, I cut it off. So I just start with that rule first. Like this guy right down here. This guy's like, he's hanging down here like this. And I wanna keep my bush growing up off the ground. So I'm just gonna take him out. So I start with all those first, find all the ones that are hanging down there where I don't want them, pull them out. Kind of finished off with this bush over here and I feel like I really butchered it because I took a lot of limbs out. But honestly, it was kind of, it was all growing over this way, kind of leaning out into my walkway through here and getting really annoying. So it'll probably be happy that I cut it back so bad. But now I'm onto this one, taking out some old branches here again these old ones starting to lean over and crowd my walking area so I'm just getting rid of them um, and uh, the bush will probably thank me and just grow like crazy so I'm not gonna worry about it too much okay so still working on pruning here got my blueberries pruned got my has caps pruned took a bunch of old wood and unwanted wood off of those bushes. Now I'm onto fruit trees. So I've got a couple cherry trees, uh, like four, I don't know, three or four, yeah, four apple trees, a couple pear trees. So I need to like at least nip the stuff out of the top of those and uh, take a look at some branches and make sure they're all cleaned up. But before we do that, we gotta go over some ladder safety because I'm gonna have to get on a ladder. 
watch out. Okay, so a little ladder safety. Um, first thing you want to do, put your ladder on level ground. Out here, there's no level ground. So we're just going to work with what we have. Okay, so, but I got to go way up here. And if you look up there, the power line's up there. And this tree's starting to grow into the power line. So I want to keep it trimmed back so it doesn't get up in the power lines. This is a cherry tree, by the way, a pie cherry. So up we go. And for this job, I just have some basic hand pruners. None of the limbs up there are very big. So. Another rule about ladders, never climb above this step. It's important. What step was that? And then... Alright guys, we finished up our pruning for the year. Um, apple trees, pear trees, blueberries, uh, hascaps, got them all pruned up, took out some bad limbs, trimmed the tops up a little bit, and so we're going to wrap this one up. Um, last thing I'd mention is next week, hopefully on next week's video, we finish up our drain here that we started in the first part of the video tune in next time and we'll we'll show you what we're doing with this drain here so that's it for now we'll see you next week thank you